Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. Um, I've had a channel on YouTube for a while, so this is going to be kind of like my first run to the rodeo of doing this kind of specific gaming stuff. Um, I wanted to start doing this after watching some of Drunk on Life's streams. If you haven't checked him out, definitely make sure to do that. Um, he has a lot of Project Zomboid games that he likes to stream and every once in a while he'll do RimWorld and other games. So. And for watching him do some of his stuff, I thought it'd be kind of cool for me to change my channel around and do stuff like that. And starting off, I guess I'm going to say that I'm going to wind up trying to tackle some zombies. So, that being said, welcome to Project Zomboid. I'm sure you've probably seen this game if you're coming across this video. If not, though, it's basically a game where you're going around town uh, <laughs> killing, zomboys, killing zombies during a... a uh, zombie apocalypse so I mean it's kind of a funny game in a way um, I got into it a few years ago um, I hadn't really known about it back then it was just kind of a game that came out of nowhere and I can't even remember exactly what it was that caused me to play it I think I might have seen it on a YouTube video or something like that but I've been playing it ever since and right now this version here is on 41.7a um, this version is before some of the NPC stuff that they're currently working on. Because one of the things about this game that I don't like is that once you've reached a certain point in the game, it gets kind of stale and boring. And I th I'm hoping and praying that some of the work that the, uh, the producers of the game are working on, whenever they get done working on their NPCs, they'll get to a point where they'll liven the game up a little bit when you get to a certain age in the game. That's my hope. That's that's my hope. So anyway, um, I'm gonna start a new game here, and the way I'm gonna try to structure it, it'll be kind of like a story. I I think there's some people out there that are trying to do this kind of thing. I know that Drunk on Life tries to do that sometimes, and I think I'm gonna follow suit myself. So the only difference with me is that I'm not using any mods. And I do have some customizations on here that I'm going to start off with. And there's not really a whole lot about my setup here that's random. I, I don't think it's going to wind up randomly putting me into any kind of like regional location of, on the map. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll let you look at it though. But I'm going to do a custom sandbox. I'm going to start off in here. That's usually where I decide to start. And I again, I do have custom presets here, um, but I don't think I think for the most part it's not really too different from what the defaults are. I've I've tried to change things around to tweak the settings to reflect something that I interpret as being a little more realistic. One case in point is the real time. I I don't like that other thing that it does where you like only have a certain amount of time before it reaches daylight or, or nighttime. Um, but there's that. There, Water shut off, electricity. Some of this stuff I have changed to kind of make it a little easier. And some of my justification for that is the simple fact that like for, for example one thing that has always bothered me about this game is the fact that whenever you're running through the woods if you're even remotely close to a tree you're going to trip. And now, I mean, I know that we can all argue whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing, especially where gaming mechanics are concerned, but in my mind, it doesn't really come close to being something that I would perceive myself as experiencing. I mean, I consider myself a somewhat athletic person. I mean, I, I do stuff, I work out, you know, I jog, blah, 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 and I can't envision myself as running through the woods and tripping every single time the way that this game does basically every single time. So that was one kind of justification for doing some of these kinds of tweaks. One thing that that should probably be explained too is the loot rarity. I've changed all of these to abundant and the biggest justification that I have for that is the simple fact that I always start my games off right at the beginning of, of the zombie apocalypse. So, when you're first starting off in a situation like that, it's easy to assume that most of the houses that you raid and all, the, all of the other places that you go into are going to wind up being full of, of gear and, 
you know, whatever else. Now, I wouldn't probably use this if I was going to do something like starting off 10 years in advance or one of those other kinds of settings that you can do in this in, where, where you're in the future. But for now, I'm trying to keep this all easy, or at least, I don't know, my interpretation of what I would perceive as being somewhat doable in a situation like this. Uh, character. Oh, and this is something that I'll probably catch a lot of flag for. Part of me doesn't really blame you. But again, you know, bearing in mind things like zombies biting through windshields and, you know, an instant kill the moment that you jump through a window or the constant tripping over tree roots and stuff like that, that's my justification for that. Now, in the future, if I do other stories in this game, I'll probably try to change some of the stuff around and make it harder and kind of appease viewers and stuff, because I know that there's a lot of players out there that wouldn't do a lot of this kind of stuff, but that's the way I've done it to start off with. And another reason, too, that I do that is because a lot of the stuff that you get involved with in the game as your character progresses, you're, you'll find yourself being like, well, why can't I do that? You know, in a realistic situation, I should be able to do that, because blah, blah, blah. And this just kind of makes it to where you don't have to wrangle with a lot of that. Now, the one thing that I'll say in defense of people that would poo-poo this is the fact that, you know, it's not going to be very long before I'm hot-wiring hot vehicles and stuff. And with that in mind, this is kind of a stupid thing, and it's kind of a cheat almost. But, you know, in the future, again, I'll probably wind up reverting that, going back on that. But for my first story here. I'm going to try to keep things somewhat simple and easy to deal with. Now, I have never used this mini-map. If any of you know anything about this, I'd love to know. I mean, I'm assuming it's just a basic mini-map that you can enable. I, I've thought about using it. I've just never done it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of go through this real quick. That way you guys have, have a chance to like pause it and look at it. But here we go. So, I always play as a lumberjack, because my favorite weapon in this game is an axe. Now, because of some of my settings and stuff, I had some more uh, trait points or whatever to use. I'll let you look at what those are. Um, the name? I don't know. I think I put this on here before I started recording the video. There we go. That's what I was expecting. You know, fire department teacher, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, here we go. Wish me luck. Or should I say, wish James luck. Okay, so my first objective in this is going to be to try to find a place to hide or to set up a base at. Now, one of my favorite places to go in this game is the cabin that's out in the middle of the woods north of the lumber mill. And I'm probably going to wind up doing that again in this story. Um, I don't know. Let's just kind of see how it goes first. So let's see where we are here. I'm not completely certain where we are. Just gonna roll with it. So let's see here. We've got a bedroom. Anything here? And paper pencil. One thing I always try to look for are backpacks and weapons. There's a hiking bag and a fanny pack. I always try to wear these too. I always try to wear one on the front and one on the back. That way, whenever I have my because I, what I try to do is I put, like, map stuff in one of them and, like, medical stuff in the other. So let's see if we can do that here. Red and a pencil. Okay, there's that. Um, let's go ahead and wear the hiking Did I get it? I did, didn't I? No, I didn't wear it. Hold on a second. Put it on the back. Okay, there we go. 
there's that. Um, ooh, a crowbar. Here's my initial weapon. First aid kits. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. First aid kit on. Well, I guess I'm not gonna have enough room for it. Shoot. Okay, no big deal. Um, is there anything else in here that I wanna have? Take. Yes, I wanna take the saw. Because that's gonna come in as a really important thing later on once I start actually building stuff. So that, let's take the hammer. I'm gonna go ahead and take this simply because it's not really a major space issue. I'm assuming this is probably a bathroom. Yeah, it is. Okay. Thing on the shelf here. Um, I mean, we can go ahead and dismantle this. That way, we can kind of get some XP here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Ah, that beautiful XP modifier. <laughs> Okay, so there's that. Now, I don't really have any use for this right now, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back. Get rid of that junk. Is there anything in here that I want to hang on to? Usually what I try to do is I try to look for some sort of water bottle type of container. And it doesn't unfortunately look like we have any. I'm gonna do something here real quick. So let's get the bugs the heck out of me. Let's unequip this. And then re-equip it. And what I'm hoping is. Let's try it. Try it with this thing. That's... No, it didn't. Usually whenever I do that, it winds up having Re, uh, reordering those, but I guess it's no big deal. Okay, moving on. What do we have here? Got a kitchen knife. Take that. Let me see here. I thought I should be able to put that on my left or right. Yeah. Kind of weird playing this game and recording at the same time because I've got to provide certain kind of dialogue. It's the first time I've ever had to do that. So if I, if I sound a little awkward, bear with me. Okay, so anything in here? No. Alright, here we go. I'm trying to get my bearing straight and remember where I might be. It's been a while since I've actually played this game. I think I know where I am. I think I'm basically on the north side of town. I think I need. Oh, I hear him. That's another thing that I always try to look for is a digital watch. Let's see. 
one thing I always try to do too is always hang on to every single key I ever pick up. Yes, here we go. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Tempted to take the gun. You know what? I'm going to. Uh, let me see here. I need a holster. Oh, oh well. Take it. these in here in a rush. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Let's see if this has anything. Not really. I mean, it's a little stuff I could use, but right now I'm not really too interested in it.
I don't really like the sh the, sh the shorts in this game. They always <laughs> they always just look a little weird. I should have been marking stuff on the map. I'll tell you what, let me get in here first, secure the area, and then we'll mark a couple things on the map.
Skulkin. Cigarettes. Now, I don't know how often I'm going to wind up uploading videos. I was hoping that I might be able to pull off like an every other day type of thing. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Let's see if we can't secure a place here and get some stuff on the map. Shut up. There's no alarm. There's no alarm. There's no alarm. No, I can't even open it. I wish you could peek around corners. I hear him. Man, that actually... <laughs> that actually made me jump. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. doors in this game is really raises your anxiety. Okay, now let's look at our map. Where are we? Here's where we are. And I think that's where I started off. So I've seen other guys do this, so I don't think I'll start doing it too. thing I wish I could do though is maybe make my uh, font smaller. I think I could do that. Not a big deal though. Okay. This is where we are right now, so I'll go ahead and put an X in there. Okay. Yeah. Nope, didn't want that. So I think, if I remember right, I think downtown is over here. Let's scope this place out and see if there's anything in here. So there is auto manual, hunter, metalworking. Um. I would like to have some of those, but I think I'm going to try to prioritize other stuff right now. What was that?
as I'm playing this, I'm sure I'm probably driving a lot of people nuts. Because you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, well, why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? Definitely let me know in the comments things that I could do better. Especially where sound and video is concerned. I'm kind of interested to know how some of this stuff comes across to you guys. bit about my setup here. I uh, have a pretty beefy system. I can't really remember what, <laughs> what, the, what the specs are at the moment. I know it's really high on RAM. It's got a pretty awesome CPU and GPU. Um, I'm using OBS though for some of the video stuff. And I've added a, a sound filter to kind of reduce whether or not you guys can hear my uh, like mouse clicking and keyboard stuff so if you guys can hear that stuff I'd like to know because that might convince me to go get a like a better microphone or something but I'm basically using a headset to do all this stuff in I'm going to try to secure this area a little better, and then I'm going to call it a quit. Call it quits for this video. It's about an hour. So I figured it'll be a good way to kind of start everything off. There's not really much here. So that's where we'll call it. Um, I'll try to pick up from where we leave off here sometime either tomorrow or the day after. And hopefully we can get James somewhere a little more safe. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you on the flip-flop.